Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Catalysis by Vedantu. My name is Pahul. <laughs> A lot of you know I am an alumnus of IIT Bombay. And today with me, you're going to start your day with this particular question. Now, this is a question that I gave as a homework to my regular students in the previous class. The previous class, the link of that I'll put in the description and the pinned comment down below. Okay, so I'm taking classes for mole concept right now. This is the question that I gave as the homework. Okay, a lot of students make lots of silly mistakes in this question. And most of my regular class students, whenever I ask this in my regular classes at Vedantu, <laughs> in the first try, Majority of the people get it wrong. Some get it correctly in the first try, so that's very nice. But don't worry, I will show you how to solve this question in a very simple manner. See, the thing is, a mistake, okay, let's just focus on the mistake first, which you don't have to commit, is that people just try to, you know, run through the question without thinking any logic, okay? So they're like, okay, new unit is equal to... Um, Carbon 12 by 5. <laughs> okay, 12 atomic mass units by 5. Ho gaya. Old was 12. New is divided by 5. So then new mass of nitrogen will be equal to 14 into 12 by 5. And <laughs> this is the most common mistake that students do. This is not the correct way to solve this particular question. So do one thing right now, please pause the video over here and try to solve this question on your own and unpause the video only when you want to see my solution. Now, I'll give you a logic first to double check your thought process and then we'll solve it mathematically. It won't take a lot of time by the way. So my dear friends, what's happening over here is that the new unit is bigger, right? Old unit was, just a second, <laughs> where did the pen go? Yeah. So the old unit was basically the mass of carbon 12 divided by 12. Yeah. The new unit is basically mass of carbon 12 divided by 5. Isn't it? This is the jazz that is happening. So can you see the new unit is bigger in size? Hmm? Divided by 12 is smaller than divided by 5. So my dear friends, imagine a situation okay where you have two people <laughs> one guy is five centimeter ten centimeter a random example okay so if my unit okay let's say the old unit in which i'm measuring it right now is one centimeter five centimeter ten centimeter now if i define one new unit Okay, one new unit is equal to five centimeters. One new unit is equal to five centimeters now directly. Okay, so do you realize this is one new unit? This guy is two new units. So my point is that whenever your new unit is bigger in size itself, the measurements will become smaller, right? The number in front of the measurements will become smaller because the unit itself is big now. Very obvious from here. So, answer can't be 33.6 because your answer has to be smaller than 14, <laughs> right? 14 can also not be the answer. So, B and C are already cancelled. Now, you just have to check whether A is correct or not. So people, now let's try to solve this question, okay? Old atomic mass unit is equal to carbon divided by 12, okay? I'm not going to write C12 again and again, it makes too much mess. Carbon divided by 12, mass of 1 carbon divided by 12 was the old atomic mass unit. Let's write the new atomic mass unit. is equal to C by 5. Yes. Cool. Okay. Can we find a relationship over here between new atomic mass unit and old atomic mass unit? C is the common factor. Can you see? From this jazz, can I write that 5 times new atomic mass unit is equal to 12 times the old atomic 
mass unit. Yes. Can I write this? So, just extending this further, I can write 5 by 12 new atomic mass units are equal to 1 old atomic mass unit. Now, my dear friends, what is nitrogen? Nitrogen is 14 old atomic mass units. Let's just put that on the right hand side. Let's multiply both of these with 14 basically. So 14 old atomic mass units will be equal to 14 into 5 by 12 new atomic mass units. This is your answer. 14 old units is equal to this many new units. This is your answer. How much does it come out to be? 5 into 14 by 12. 14 by 12 is little more than 1. Yeah. Approximation technique over here to save your time. 14 by 12 is a little more than 1. So, overall this answer will be little more than 5. Done. Cool. When you write things down step by step using unitary method, even the most complicated of problems become simple. So people, this was your question of the day. Also your homework question in the last class. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Stay subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon because we have tons of things going live every single day. Only for you guys. Chalo ji, see you in the next one.